Hey guys, this is Bebo 16 a doing another review on uh, some pocket knives and some gear. Uh, this review is going to be on the Schrade X-Timer. Uh, this uh, this is a, a miracle knife because I found this one day walking out to the school bus on the street, open, just like this, laying on the street, and I picked it up, and uh, ever since it's been mine. And um, it's kind of ironic too because at that point, uh, the school that I was going to hadn't even been constructed yet, or the school that I, that I, that, uh, I went to high school at hadn't even been constructed, and silver, this type of blue, and black were its school colors, so I just found a, a conveniently, conveniently themed blade just laying on the streets. Um, <clears throat> it's a small pocket knife, it's about the, the size of the palm of your hand, but it is a little bit thicker because it holds uh, two blades. It has a, a straight edge blade or a flat edge blade and then a serrated blade over here. Um, uh, what can I say about this? The steel is um... Let's see. There's the the marking and yeah see I'm not even sure which type of steel this is because it doesn't say on the blades um, unfortunately but it, it it's not it's not great steel but it's not bad steel either um it seems to dull out pretty quickly i've tried i've tried to sharpen it and it, it didn't really work i need to get it sharpened again because right now it's just dull as poop um uh but the good things about it and, and also the serrations i i just hate these kind of serrations uh they're too jagged they're too prominent you can't really it catches more than than it saws so I don't know why they designed it this way. Um, pretty much makes the uh, the serrated blade useless, and the tip tip strength uh, the tip has been ground down and it's barely pointy anymore. Although on the on the flat edge. Uh, sorry, you guys, if you could hear that, that was my mother screaming at me, trying to get me to come in and listen to ACDC singing. These are a few of my favorite things. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so. Oh god, I got sawdust, and I just cleaned these things last night, and now I got sawdust all over it, because I decided to uh, saw through that, not even completely saw through that little stick for you guys on the uh, on the Gerber Suspension Multi-Tool Review. Alright, so, continue on with this. Um, it's a backlocking blade, I really like the backlocking design. I think it's much better than the... Uh, Whichever one it is where like the, you have to push the spring aside, I think that this version is much better. Um, I think it, it feels like it locks more solidly, and also it, um, I don't know, I, I just like it better. I feel like the other design just isn't as secure as the back locking design. Uh, well oiled, these blades deploy pretty quickly. I mean, not as quickly as an assisted opening, because this is not, this is not an assisted opening knife. It's just a thumb stud. Just it's a folding knife. It's got thumb studs, so you can just push it open, and it opens pretty quickly with good oil, some good mineral oil, lubricant, or uh, any kind of lubricant that uh, you guys use on your knives. <clears throat> um, and that's that's pretty much it. This is what I carry around, just because I know that uh, it works, and I like it because it's got the two blades and. Um, probably two and a half inch blades and uh... yeah you know it's a good all-around knife sharpened it'd, it'd be great the only thing is that i think that this serrated blade is kind of useless just because of the way they designed the serrations if these serrations were more like um... for example if these serrations were more like these kind of serrations these nice smooth ones then uh... that would be well worth it but they're not so that's pretty much the only complaint I have. That and the steel quality is not that great. It seems to dull out relatively quickly. Uh, other than that, um, for for not so for not so expensive knife, um, it's good, and uh, I I got it for free. I found it on the street, so I can't really complain. Uh, the belt clip is really tight, so sometimes it's hard to uh, like put on my jeans. I'm starting to get cuts on my jeans because of it. And um, it's not low, it's not low in the pocket, it's high in the pocket, there's that much that, that sticks up out, out of it, but 
Does it really matter? No, not really, and you can grab the top and pull it out without having to fumble with the with the with the clip. So uh yeah. It does make it uh easier to lose though with that design. So overall, it's a good it's a it's a mediocre, uh good to mediocre knife. Um for the money. Trade is a good company. And um uh, if only this uh, serrated blade wasn't so poopy. That's all I really have to say. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Leave comments, suggestions in the comments section. Uh, like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. I'm going to do a separate uh, review on the Slog Seal Pup. And uh, hopefully I'll be getting more knives in the future. Do some reviews on those. Hopefully I'll be getting some firearms in the future. I'll be getting some of those. And uh, So subscribe if you want to see that stuff. Uh, thank you for watching. This is Beepo 16 a and, uh, that's all I have to say.